Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Well, today we're going to be continuing with our discussion on centroid calculation and in that regard we have taken this problem and this basically is a combination of different geometric figures. So we have a rectangle, let's say this is one marked by one, let's say this triangle over here has been marked by two and we also have a semicircle. Now we have to find the combined combined centroid of all of these figures right taken as a whole well how can that be found out well here is the approach so initially we'll be calculating their areas individually so let's start with rectangle so its area will be 80 multiplied by 40 80 multiplied by 40 is pretty simple that's 3200 secondly you have this triangle over here and you know very well that the triangle's area is given by half of base into height so A2, if I were to calculate the value of area of triangle, it will be half of base. This base from here to here, it's how much? 20 plus 20, that's 40 multiplied by this height from this point to this point, that's 40. Okay, and this is also pretty simple. This is going to work out as 800. All of this is in centimeters square. And then finally, we have to calculate the area of the semicircle. You can see very well that this semicircle is symmetric about this line that I have drawn just now, okay, about this horizontal line. Uh, now, that has no connection with the area. I don't know why I said that. But you can clearly see that the a radius of this semicircle is 20 centimeters, okay. And if I were to calculate its area, its area is going to be equal to pi r square, pi into 20 square. But hey, that's the area of a circle. And when you divide it by 2, you will get the area of its semicircle. Well, put that up into a calculator and then you're going to get the value of the area of semicircle as 628.31. 628.31. Done. Now what? Now we'll do an individual analysis for all the three geometrical shapes. Okay. And then we'll try to calculate their x and y coordinates in the form of x1, um, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. But for Carrying out all these things, what I really need is a coordinate axis. So the coordinate axis has been has been made, right? And let's say this over here represents the y axis. And let's say this over here represents the x axis. Now, now the center of this geometrical figure, this blue one, right? This is in fact a rectangle will be somewhere here. Okay. And if I were to tell you, this will be x1, x1, right? And this over here will be y1. This pen appears to be a very thin. Let me have a thick pen. So how can x1 be calculated? Now guys, from this point to this point, this is pretty simple. Half of 80, that's 40. And when you add 20 to this 40, you have the value of x1. Okay, so x1 is nothing but 20 plus 40 and that's 60. Let me just write 60 over here. That's it. Let's again focus on y1. What about y1? So the height is 40. So half of 40 is going to be the value of y1 and y1 is going to be 20. Okay, that's pretty easy. So y1 can essentially be written as 20. So that's 60 and that's 20. Now let's focus on this triangle. Okay, guys. Now remember this. Whenever you are dealing with triangle centroid, always try to draw a median from any corner. Okay. Like this. Centroid will be at a height from the base. This height, this height will be h by 3. So how much is h for this? It's 40. Okay. And this is going to be 40 by 3. Now what I am supposed to find is the value of y2 okay so y2 is precisely this distance sorry i cannot able, i am not able to make this straight line so y2 is equal to how much from here to here it's 40 40 plus 45 3 that's y2 so when you do 40 plus 45 3 uh, you're going to get this value 53.33 let me write here also y2 is equal to 40 plus 40 by 3 Okay, so you put this up into a calculator and you're going to get 53.33 y2 
0.33. Now we are interested in calculating the value of x. Now that's x2, distance of the centroid from the y axis. That's x2. Now this is pretty simple. x2 is pretty easy. From this point to this point, the distance is how much? That's 20 plus this 40, 20 plus 40 is 60, 60 plus again 20 is 80. So x2 is going to work out as 80. Pretty simple. That's 80. And then finally, let's let's work out for this semicircle. Now let me tell you something. I don't know if you if you're aware of this or not. If you have a semicircle of this sort, let's say this is the base, right? Let me zoom onto this. Now the semicircle, first of all, is symmetrical about this vertical axis. Okay, over here we have R, this is also R. So the centroid will be at at a height of 4 r upon 3 pi from the base this is 4 r upon 3 pi from the base always even if even if the semicircle is something of this sort okay in that case also this this distance always from the base is going to be equal to 4 r over 3 pi always remember this now let's try to implement the same stuff over here it would be better if i can have a different color let me use a red color the centroid is essentially going to be somewhere here. Now this is going to be 4 r over 3 pi. What is r? Well, the value of r is 20. But what do we need? We need this. And that's what do you call x3. And x3 is equal to what? x3 is equal to how much? That's 20 minus 4 r over 3 pi. 20 minus 4 r over 3 pi. So you just have to put the value of r which is going to be equal to 20. Put that up into a calculator and the final value of x3 that you're going to be getting is 11.52. Let me write that. 11.52. 11.52. Finally, what's left is the value of y3. Well, y3 is pretty simple. Okay, it's, it's something like this. This is the centroid. Let's say c3. And this over here is y3 okay so y3 is pretty simple how much is this from here to here that's um, 20 only okay that's 20 so the value of y3 is let me see that's 20 now let me go ahead and check all of this 20 53.33 and 20 and this is 60 80 11.52 yeah areas of 3200 800 628.31 okay <clears throat> let me let me have the eraser let me uh, this is it's gonna be my job okay one final step and then we are almost done all right now what we are doing is we are finding the centroid of the composite figure so we are adding all the three geometrical shapes one plus two plus three okay now what what essentially the formula of xc will be that the centroid or the x coordinate of the centroid it's going to be equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 over summation of all the areas or you can just write simply a1 plus a2 plus a3 in the same manner you will have one formula for yc also y coordinate of the centroid okay just replace x by y is now this is not going to be a2 rather it's a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 all of this stuff divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 now guys you have all the values of areas x coordinates y coordinates from from this table you can put them up over here and the final value of the x and y coordinate of the centroid that you're going to get is this let me write this 56.87 56.87 obviously this is in centimeters and then finally the value of y obtained is 25.76 centimeters done and dusted so guys that was all from my set for today if you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update 
Needless to say, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep learning. Thank you.